silver key was over here, I think. Yep. Hearing some weird noises, like a bunch of screws and whatnot rolling around on the floor. Can't push it this way. Oh, there's a lot of wooden blocks around here. So far, I'm not sure- I'm not sure about wooden blocks so far. Like, do I just press them the moment I, ha I have the opportunity? Or do I wait for vis- like, clues about which w which way to push them? So far, I've been erring on the side of caution, because I don't want to trap them in a corner where I can't push them anymore. And potentially miss out on a secret. <laughs> Who's there? This game is being spooky. We have four health kits. At least there's that. Yeah, we're not going anywhere till we push him now. Okay. Hello. Oh. Obliterated shotgun. Arachnids. At first, figuring out the arachnid prototypes was fun and challenging. All the exciting technology, new fumium cells, advanced discharge tubes, intriguing intricate blueprints. Man, I have poured my soul into this project. These spider machines are a work of art. But now, several months into production, my motivation and faith are fading fast. Ultimately, I have to be honest with myself. I don't quite understand why we are making so many of them. Actually, what's the purpose of it all? Where are we heading with this? Henry Rudenkraut, Chief Robotics Engineer. Rudenkraut's crowbar, hello. One-handed blunt, 15 damage. Attacks against spiders have a chance to stun them and deal bonus damage. When equipped in conjunction with Rudenkraut's gauntlets, Rudenkraut's crowbar gains melee speed. I'm using generics, right? Yep. 15 damage, one-handed, 25% chance of stunning. 4 second duration, 15 bonus damage, usual bonus against mechanicals, relatively fast weapon with fast uh, reach, oh. Nice bonus there at the end, it gives you plus 10% tech. At this point, that would be a pr that'd be anywhere from, it'd be about 2 to 3 bonus tech points, which is not a bad thing to add to the pile. That's good. In fact, it would probably- it says 21 plus 30 percent on my- on my screen right now, it would probably turn into 21 plus 40 percent. It probably would add to the actual percentage part of that measurement. Huh. Cool weapon. Very... Very low power. Like, very low power compared to what I'm using right now. But it's a good- it's good in- it's good in the sense that, like, a magic staff or a, a wand is good if you want to be able to do be more effective at, uh, just casting for the sake of casting. Whereas this thing does triple damage in every third hit, which is amazing. Point four. Yeah, this thing has twice the cooldown, so you can attack twice as often with this thing, but if I'm square dancing, I often don't have time for that anyway. Very good against spiders is a nice upgrade upside, though. And I'd be lying if I didn't say I was somewhat tempted by the tech bonus. Let's see. Yep, I was right, because it, it actually says plus 40 on the right right now, so that I would, it'll give me two tech. Which leads to nine more, uh, what's it called again? Energy? Gadget damage also? Right now my gadget's damage is at plus 82%, this takes up to plus 88%. I think, yeah, 
Maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, wait until I can get Runecraft's gauntlets, or if I can get some kind of shield finally, because I still don't have a shield. And then then it'd be a, maybe a good one-handed weapon to go with my shield that makes me relatively defensive while I can sort of sit things out and be and be ready for my next melee swing and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and use this as a stashing spot. I have no reason to hold on to this mace now that I've got a purple quality replacement. Also, don't need these one-handed swords. I don't really think I'm going to get rid of any, any of my, uh, gadgets. That's a lieutenant rifle, shotgun. Yeah, those are three different variations of gun, so those are all different from each other. Apprentice outfit, there we go, that's a, lo that's a level one item. We're going to stick to the purples now. Alright, another chance to clean up a little bit. Did he- I think he t I think he made, like, a final stand here with his shotgun. I think it was just that guy versus the world as the spiders came closing in. The spiders that he spent all that time making too many of, according to him. I don't know what this place is about, but I get this weird feeling. Something about these walls, these gears, and even these bolts. I'm not alone in this prison. Okay, what did I just open with that? Maybe it was the door behind the button- the thing I was pushing? No. You? No. Something opened. I heard something open. It's the cell. That's startling. Sting? Has a chance to apply acid. One-handed blade weapon. Combat fuse. Repair kit. The plus one combat now. We're just getting bonuses across the board right now. Really, Sting. You're gonna give me a glowy sword called Sting, unironically. Has a chance to apply acid, one-handed blade weapon. Acid da deals damage over time and greatly reduces the target's healing or integrity restoring effects. One dam- uh, ten damage. 30% acid chance for ten five seconds. Plus one precision, plus seven percent resistance. Not bad to have either. Compared to this thing... I mean, it's actually got lower base damage than, uh, than Rusty Sword. 10 is weirdly low, but a 1 in 3 chance of uh, acid, and the acid's probably pretty effective. Roach Spit Tincture is a remedy recommended in small doses. This dagger is dripping with it to the test the exact opposite. Do the other ones have special names? The crowbar with the best mechanic around that helped build countless ar uh, arachnid robots. It is just as effective at dismantling them. It's tempting to dismant- it's tempting to, uh, dual wield these two weapons, for sure. If I had any dual wielding specialization. Cause, uh, I don't. Yeah, cause you get- you get a 35% loss in, uh... That's how much you lose, right? I think it's you lose 35%, and if you get this, it's maxed out and you're good now. I could slowly work my way up, but yeah, like, I'll definitely be missing a lot if I dual-wield, but two separate status, status effects and stuff could be kind of use, useful. This one has a chance of stun, this one has a chance of acid. While doing garbage damage in both cases, unfortunately. They do- wow. 0.85 second cooldown, that's why- yeah, that's why it attacks freakishly fast. Huh. Well, I'm happy to find it. The weird little secrets that they are. I go in here, I'm not getting back out till I find that key. Right? I no? Key. Never mind. Never mind. Need key. You need a golden key to open up a different door. I thought it, I thought it was gonna close the door behind me and I need a golden key to get back out. I was wrong. I definitely hear something around here. 
Oh. Lightning based enemies. Let's, let's switch to acid. Oh, of course there's an acid one right there. Ow. There we go. One den. Switch back to lightning. Ow. Yep, he's still catching me, huh? Wow. Really nailing it with his hit chances right now. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, that's the that's where the door was I'm trying to open. My bad. Gonna have to wait for some recovery now. A different golden key. Interesting. Does the opening one open both, or do I just only get to pick one? I think they open the same uh, room ultimately, so it's probably not a big deal. Friends? Oh, we're back in the room with the lift. We've gone on a full circle. Interesting. still have not spotted a single defect. I could absolutely be looking for something that doesn't exist. Oh, this is a weird looking wall. Got like a secondary brace on it or something? Come out, come out. Pretty far along. Is it boss fight time? We've got glowy crates and a switch inside. That would count as a secret in there. The Bureau sent us refined blueprints for the new Fumium batteries. The drafts have come a long way since my time at the university. These new prototypes should amend any issues that were known to have caused the shutdown at the Cat Kennet Island Research Project. The way the battery works is now based on Gwilherm's grid. It's made of fumium-enhanced steel, holding the fumium grains nicely intact and should prove to be a lot more stable than before. Out of curiosity, I took a peek at the Cat Kennet Project, but there's no info, a complete blank. Well, apart from a dry note in the archives. Research complete. Station closed. Along with the new batteries, we also started to produce fumatons, which are powered by these powerful battery cells. They're an evolution of the basic model of quadrupedal Arak-3, which used to have a coal-burning module with a boiler and a simple piston. We replaced the whole system with a simple expansion chamber for the battery and more robust piston parts. Well, this gets limiting fast. So I've realized that apparently you can click on the top half to push and the bottom half to pull. I think this may have been always true and I just didn't notice. It gives me a little bit more to work with here. But only to an extent. Kinda want you out of the way, don't I? Was I better off pulling you instead? No, because I would have been trapped. But I can't, like, pull you either. Like, I can't pull you over here. So maybe I pull you this way. Or even you? No, because I won't be able to get you out. Whereas you, I can push. Get you over there. 
Then just keep it going, right? No. You're better off with you, aren't I? Then I'll still trap myself. Can't get behind it. I feel like, um... Should I, be pl should I plan around other positions around here? Also, if they put secrets in this room, it could be agony to find them, because there's so many... There's so many nooks and crannies to put these things. Oh yeah, there's nothing... Okay, so there's... There's a wall here, a few walls there. Can't pull out that way because you get stuck against the wall. I have myself wondering if I should put you elsewhere just so I have more, more maneuverability. I have to do this first. I just find myself wondering if putting it in a slightly different position is more helpful to me. That doesn't work for me. I want to push that over there, but the only way to get into this room is to put Shu back in. Maybe this whole thing was kind of pointless? I was just trying to figure out what more ways to use every single spare square I have just to get stuff out of my way. And so I thought for a moment that might help. I'll just put you back here. Think about how to proceed. So I pull you. That doesn't. This doesn't help me very much, does it? I'm still trapped. This is why I was looking for an, an alternate approach. Like, I can't... The idea that I can't fit through there is funny, but I guess I'm a giant mech, so it's almost conceivable. There's walls on both sides. Also, this guy's in the way. And there's no way to get you around the corner. That's the weird thing about thinking about this stuff, is you can't go around corners at all. We've emptied out the second, the second, the middle row, but I can't get anything out of the way. <sighs> I keep trying to think about how, like, can I push this stuff over there just to clear some space, but like, I can't. You can't pull it over here, but you also can't push it over there, because you can't get behind it in any way. And, like, I can't get this out and then over there, because I have to somehow be in there already, like... Well, I should pull that out of the way. Well, no... Will that help me at all? Like, I don't need this chunk of hallway, so I guess if I can jam stuff down this hallway, that's probably the best. It's probably the best, like, sort of cubby I have to jam things in. But only, like, two of them, then it becomes impossible to really control anymore. Yeah, now I have suddenly the ability to go behind this thing. Which is what I was trying to do. There we go. Now you're out of the way. Now we have way less stuff in the system. Y 
You're still in the way, though. I can just push you back in. I think pulling it that far was an accident. I was thinking in terms of, like, maybe I can just jam a bunch of boxes in here, but you really can't, because you, you, only, you only interact with the first box and the last box. All the other boxes just get in the way. Yeah. Why do you glow so much? Is it just an indication to help me realize that you're the really important box that I need for the final move? See, now if I push you, I don't- it's actually okay, because I can walk around you from the other side. On this side. Which means you can go over here. And now I can pull this lever and die or something. Am I under attack? Golden key. I just gave birth to a beautiful girl, Sophie. It all went well. I should probably feel guilty about this, but I'm not all that excited. I don't even feel exhausted, physically or mentally. To be honest, I'm just anxious to get back to the research seat as soon as possible. That's what I'm here to do. Okay, you might have issues if you're like not even phased by how you just made a baby. And you're just thinking about how you want to go back to your work immediately. That's... concerning, and makes me wonder if either you have a screw loose, or if this place is doing things to people. Which it might be, because everyone's just deciding to make monsters for fun, for some reason. Oh no. Guess who I didn't want to see. They probably don't want to be using fire against you, right? Did I just use fire against you? Did it hurt you? Ow. Out of energy, and also out of eyesight a little bit. Ow! Okay, I walked into that one. Am I back in this room again? Oh, no, I'm, in, I'm somewhere else. Oh, he's dead. Wow, I got powerful. Or you're weaker, I don't know. It might have been a weaker variant, but I think I might just be more powerful by a fair margin with all the magic I can just spew around now. Which... I keep calling magic even though it's like gadgets. But it's easy to call that kind of thing magic. And fall back on that idea. Umbrella. This is my last Fumium based toy. The Umbrella Field Generator. It can create a static protective barrier that absorbs damage coming from the surroundings. Very useful when you need to tinker with with welding drones and other third gen fumations fumatons. It's bizarre that we now need some sort of protection from the very robots that we created to serve us. But that's the crude reality. What's even more bizarre though is that it's pretty unpopular to point these facts out. I don't like being reminded that they screwed up and made their own world dangerous around them. Creates a protective field around your position, reducing all incoming damage, 10 second duration, reduced duration, oh, 24% damage reduced reduction, that's not even very big. 40 energy cost though is actually relatively cheap. Although it's, 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 it's 40 energy for every 10 seconds, and 35 second cooldown. Oh, and it's static, so you're like, the idea is that you're gonna stand still in this bubble, which looks neat. But yeah, you have to stand still in this bubble for 10 seconds. With which, with my recharge time, I can I can renew it every 20 seconds-ish instead of 35 seconds. So I can actually have it be up for about half the time, but... Oops. Oh, now that I've used it again, I have to wait for the cooldown before I can take it off again. But yeah, it kind of relies on this idea that you're like gonna need to stand still during a fight. Which, ooh, regular shield. Grants a chance to block incoming direct attacks. Reducing their damage. 33% chance of blocking 40. So I guess the idea is that if it is a 1 in 3 chance of blocking uh, 40 damage. And it has plus 70 integrity just built into it, I guess. Oh. It's an advanced shield. 
By the way, I want to just point out the paradox, or the contradiction in this title that they gave it. They called it a regular shield, and it's an advanced shield. <laughs> a regular shield qualifies as being advanced. Uh... Sure? There's probably a bunch of really shitty shields throughout the game that help justify that definition or something. I'm gonna switch to the rifle because I, it does more damage and I'm not using that many blasts. Uh, I'm sure it makes sense in the grand scope of all the shields in the game or something, but the fact that the thing that's literally called a regular shield is an advanced shield is like, what? God, how far in do I have to get to get that then? Blocking. Wow. You need to be this far down the tree to even wear the advanced shield in the first place. Like, I haven't been, point, been putting points into it regardless, but yeah, you need to be like really far down to get like a, a higher level than I am to even equip this. And this the first. It's weird that this is the first shield I've ever seen. Like, you might be able to get that into that tier during level six, which is very soon. So I'll give it that much. But I find it weird that the first shield I ever found is advanced, and that I've never found the normal one yet. That seems odd. Can I use weapons as, as shields in my offhand to make them have a block chance? Handle fixed. Whoever did lift ma whoever did le lift maintenance last time did a very poor job. The power handle's broken again. Can't really rely on these blockheads anymore. No use whining though. I did a better job myself with good old Rukrolf's uh, very own hands. Henry Rukrolf, chief robotics engineer. So he is. He made the thing that will fix the handle. Yeah, I mean, he made the handle that will fix the lift, but then apparently died or something. Because we found his crowbar. Where are his gloves? I'm to be paranoid again about like whether or not I'm missing secrets or something. Like, I never found his gloves. I think I'm running out of floor to explore. Are there any loose ends? I don't see a single unfinished path anywhere, except you. You're su you're slightly suspicious. That little corner there. Aside from that, there's no incomplete map, which would suggest I've been everywhere. Which suggests that I've missed a secret, unless the gloves just aren't on this floor. But I never found a secret button anywhere. Hmm. Curious. Oh, that's over here. It's like a whole dedicated corner of annoying boxes being in the way. E yeah, even the back corner I can't see is also a box. Oh, now I filled it in the map. Okay, so we're... done here, I think? Yeah. I don't see anything else. I think I can come back whenever I want to if I think I've missed something, so that's... fine. Let's see, where was the lift itself? Up here, I think? Oh, that way. You can see the- you can see the unused door. I kind of feel like something's going to attack me when I go through here. Is it going to be... Oh! A boss is going to come off the lift, isn't he? I'm watching you. No? That's what I thought. Oh, God. Ah, oh, crap. I never swapped you out. Heh. <laughs> hey, he's just got a gun. Oh, crap. Additional bad news is showing up now. Oh, it still hasn't worn off. Get off my freaking bar, damn it. Ah, crap. Am I trapped here? No, I can run for it, at least. You're the wrong element for me, too. Fire. Lightning. There we go. Did I just miss my chance on that one? That miss. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Get out of here. All right, well, that's down at least, but damn. That guy's probably chasing me off in the distance somewhere. Oh, yeah, here he comes. Ow. God damn, did he just interrupt me? This missing is out of control. That range. Oh, he can just keep shooting. God damn. Have an ideal level for you, isn't it? Gotcha. There we go. Dick. Got the ammo. I did terribly in that fight. All the wrong decisions were made there. So an additional enemy just sort of came from somewhere. Where? Because the assumption then is that like a wall opened somewhere that might have secrets inside it and stuff like that. Where'd he come from? He ca The enemy came from... Was it over there, I think? That's one of my stashes. Oh no, I can't pull these ones. I was only in that room. I'm not- so I'm not completely crazy. I didn't imagine that. I don't know where he came from. That spider came from somewhere, and they, that usually means that like a wall opened somewhere and the spider came from inside of that. I kind of just heard him coming without knowing wh what the source was. Alright, well, he got me this time. Good news is I'll hopefully exp I'll level up soon, so I probably won't have to use the item to heal from that, I guess. Welp, I'll take my reward and bow my head in shame for the fact that I did not find a secret on any of the walls. And just hope that there wasn't one.